ice road truckers. I'm, I'm they saying do. it might be smoother. Yeah. Look at that thing. What's there? We are not getting there. Uh, I got it. What kind of car is it? I don't know, but Pick this up. car, it's a, it's a truck. This truck didn't have a good day. He didn't have a good driver like Walleye Pete. Wow, this Ice is Pete. this is one of the many wrecks on the dirt road. Dude's playing a banjo. How was it? 913 point six. This place seems pretty cool. Yeah. What'd it take to get here, Pete? <laughs> what? 913 miles of non-stop driving, and it was 200 miles of dirt road. How many hours was that? A 17-ish? Something like that, man. Nats! This is Year. Right? Look at that yeah. layout, man. So you go to this house, I'll build. Right? So we'll Looks like this catch fish on here. I don't know what that's saying. <laughs> Just to see what One of the most important parts of this camp is this coffee maker right here. It's a percolator. See that? Put the coffee in there, put this cover on, filled with water. And then we put the top on, and then we turn on this gas stove. Let's hope it doesn't blow up. There we go. Here we go. And we're going to percolate a bunch of... Ooh, what was prepping? We're doing a little breakfast. We got some uh, crazy bacon there. And uh, Wild Rick is making some ham sandwiches. What is this? Boiled water from the lake. That's our boiled lake water? From the spigot. That's water from the spigot. Does it the spigot come from the lake? comes from the lake. It almost looks like pee. It's not crystal geyser water? No. Is it crystal? They just have yellow crystals. <laughs> that thing swimming in there? Brown crystal. Here's Rick, fly slinging in the Canadian wilderness. Nice fly sling, man. I would love, oh man, he, he, he slings that thing. That is sweet. I'd love to see him get one. No reason why that shouldn't catch, Rick.
Ray just got one in this beautiful, look at this water. Oh my God, we're in the upper Canadian wilderness. And we are just, oh, uh, uh, oh. he just lost it. <laughs> <laughs> We've caught a lot of, look at this beautiful stuff. I would hate to be here in the winter. I hope we don't get stuck in here. We won't be coming home on time. And I'm always trying not to let myself get into a bad situation. Just wanted to hear words of wisdom from yeah. <laughs> Pike Pete. Pike Pete. What are you getting your license like everybody else? Yeah. <laughs> I want to be a Chesapeake Light Tackle Guide. Hey! We're going fishing! <laughs> What a fish, man. That's bad. <laughs> hey, look, you know what? The uh, Caesars, we're going to have to get a Caesars pitcher because the Caesars pitcher contest. Look at the mouth that, on that. That bitch could win. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look at the teeth. Look at the teeth. Oh, my God. That hurts just doing that. Oh, my God. There is no letting go on that. Way to go, Ray. Nice yeah. job. Just a rainy day in Canada. But fishy. Not a bad walleye day. Well, it's Wednesday. It's beautiful. There's not a ripple of wind. It's foggy. And it's a... Uh, the day after Ray got a 40-inch northern, which is a trophy. Man, this is some good bacon. First breakfast mm. of the day. That's good bacon. And there, look, there's Pete. Mm, he's good. really... And here's the Chef Boy RD that we call him William. 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 <coughs> and then here comes the... Uh-oh. Shh. William's girl. <laughs> Very little. Breakfast uh, so in the cabin. We try to noon. This dude do noon because we want to come in around one inch two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just checking at noon. Just one of the most difficult the, challenges the, of the day. The what time do we all if meet? If somebody's on a great bike, you, know, yeah, around, you can't quit. Except for we're taking an hour to get there. Oh, you mean like our great bike last night, but we had to quit to come. Forty-inch Slayer. That's not a forty, but look where he caught it. He made the perfect cast. Right, right in. He threw past that gap. Just squeeze the shit out of him. Better there you go. Up. Hold him sideways so I can see the body. Turn him vertical. There you go. <laughs> nice. All right. So here we are. Pike Pete escorting in. Glova. Oh, the newly titled Pike Pete. Pike Pete Ooh. escorting in Glova, Canada. Took me to a spot, forced me to catch a pike, and then made that pike break my fishing pole. No, he now broke listen. the four foot rule. Look, this fishing pole. Oh yeah. This oh, fishing yeah. pole landed a forty inch pike, no problem. Puts me on a eighteen inch pike, and look what happens to it. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and tell your side of the story. Hold pike on, hold Pete. on. Pete. Yeah. What's the result of Pike Pete? Pike Pete <laughs> did me like he owned me. That's the dumbest crap I've ever heard. <laughs> so. Anybody that knows me dreams about the four foot rule. Just stop it, Pike He's Pete. so broke. He had this much line off the tip of his pole. Just stop He's it. He's holding Pike the pole. <laughs> the, the rod tip is straight up in the air. Just oh. stop it, Pike The rod tip straight up in the air. And the fish hanging. The no, fish, no, 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 no. He had it in his hands and it slipped. Yeah. And then he hauled the pole straight and went, you pop. <laughs> Look at the pork chops going. Chef Ramos. 
Look at that, man. He is hitting it. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. We got more stuff. Oh, my God. Look at these plates coming out. Yeah. Yes. Hey, see you later, lazy asses. A lot of banjos being played on that porch right now. <laughs> Woo! He's 36 inches, boys. He's the whole, he's the whole thing, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's the whole, he's the whole thing. Hold on, I'll hold him. Okay. Okay, okay hurry up. He's about to go again. Is that the camera? I Well, we'll have that hook smart for you, sir. I guess. It just could, I think there's a size but smaller than this. Yeah, okay. But, Where's well, it's still fun. How good that looks. Well, Charlotte, we just unveiled your mac and cheese. It's Thursday. We're going to eat some now for lunch, and then we got another tray for uh, later or tomorrow. Half an onion or half that? I'm on the prowl. Flat calm sunny skies everybody else uh, is home <laughs> in bed no it's uh it's it takes a lot out of you you know so we are going No, he was throwing a soft plastic on a weedless jig, little tiny hook, baby hook, and we had to do it because it's the only weedless we had. Woo. He swirled on it, missed it, and then it came back and hit it. We didn't think it was big. He came right to the boat, and then he turned into a monster. You didn't think he, he was running to yeah. the boat. Yep. Here you go. Hold that end of it, right? Get under him. Get your hands off him. Just, yeah, there you go. Oh, that's get awesome. That hand off. Get that back hand off it. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Way to go, fellas. Yeah. I have to tell you, how about flour or something there, don't you? Uh, Big you're... Fish Ray. Yeah. Ray Ray, we need like a new nickname for you. What's Ray up, Ray. I, what's we, up with that? we need a new nickname for yeah. you, Big Fish Man. Yeah, Big Fish Man. Taking a shower. I'm, I'm going to start a guide camp up here now. Yeah. <laughs> Being that I, yep. pipe, I know Pete. which big ones are. Twinkle yeah. Pete. Twinkle Toe Pete. I put one of the worst Twinkle. anglers on the planet on a 40-inch <laughs> yeah. northern. Hey, and it looks, look. <laughs> so they're going to take that poster down and put your picture there now. Yeah. Then you coached them. I was in the back Such of the boat. An asshole, I was you? I was checking my fish finder accuracy. I, I didn't think it was five and a half feet deep, so I put my rod tip down and I reached and reached and reached and reached and I was down low and I accidentally let go of it. No way. So, you actually let go? go he let go. So, he, let, he let go of it because he goes, I, so, I don't know he had a scratch or something. First, first thing I thought was Fogel's gonna love that. Because now <laughs> so I, I get a get treble one. hook, right? It's, I get a treble I, hook and we're trying to read it. Yeah, I right, think, that makes sense. I think, here's no. what I think. I think if it was a better designed rod, I wouldn't have lost the grip. Oh, yeah. Right. So Fogel, bad it. design. And it is raining hard. Look at this, Walleye Pete fishing for pike. Never thought you'd see that day. I was just coming over to film to see a guide in action, out of his element. He's a very adaptive creature. On to an adventure, up this gap and into a pond. So at the end of this is a skinny entrance to heaven on earth, maybe. Killer Rick at it again. He got himself a nice little pike there. He's using it on a spinner. Nice. Four foot roll, Pete. Look at that. You good, buddy. Look at that. Let me stand back a little bit, a little close here. Get a good professional shot. There you go. Pike number 100. Yeah. We are docking on our high-tech dock. 
Kentucky winded, shoot it on there, yeah. What a monster. Hey! Look at hey. that. Nice. Ready to go. There you go. <laughs> Little fish. We need bigger fish. Hey, what we should be doing is fishing over there. Those two old timers took our spot. They took our spot over there. No, we didn't flip the boat, but today was Gary's first, first day time. driving a boat. So uh -oh. I said, why don't you first. be the guide all day? I'm going to ride up in the front and have no responsibility. Okay. Well, my responsibility started when he was trying to start the boat. Yeah. And it would idle, and he put it in gear, and it would shut off. Okay. He did this four or five times. So I'm like, you're doing it right, man. What? Just rev it up a little more or stall. something. And it'd stall. And stall. Choke? And so stall. I'm like, no, no we tried to choke. Boat, but... So finally, I get up out of the front seat, the no responsibility seat. And I come back to the back of the boat and I go to tip it forward. I can't tip it forward. And I'm hitting the unlock and I'm grabbing it and it won't lift. And finally I look over and the rope that we tie off our boats with every night is all wrapped around the <laughs> propeller. <laughs> and it's it's going under the boat and it's tight. So oh, now yeah. we can't lift the motor to get it oh. loose. <laughs> right? So, who so got in? I go back to the front and said, that's your mess. Oh, <laughs> I hear It's our last day, and Ray and I went first fish, biggest fish for a buck. And I had the biggest fish, and the first one was 24 inches. Ray just beat me by about a foot. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we're broke. We're broke even. We might have to make another bet. But anyway, last day, beautiful fish. And and Shana, is there a rock there? Or is, There's or rocks the out of the water moving? everywhere. And, and then the rock was moving. Wait a minute, the fucking rock is the moving. The rock's moving. He said the rock is moving, and I looked and I said. Oh, that's a baby moose. Oh, no, it's not. It's a bear. Holy and he goes, shit. what? And I go, yeah, it's a bear. And it was swimming its butt off <laughs> now, across the channel. And we couldn't go to it. We wanted to take the boat to it. Yeah, go. you could get pretty close. But yeah, we no, couldn't no, no. because there was a, a fearful wall of rocks between us and it just under the water. Oh. So I didn't want to risk so that. We didn't want to spook him either. Burning our garbage for the last time. Polluting the yeah. Canadian sky. Burning plastic. Yeah. Well, they told us to. That doesn't yeah. make it right. Yeah. Hold on, isn't Canada full of liberals? Nope. Last night, we've been packing up. There's seven of them, okay. Pike Pete brought us, what are they, Delmonico's? Delmonico's. Yeah. Farewell dinner. Farewell. Farewell, Farewell dinner. dinner. Very sad.